I can't give you anything. It's not personal. You understand that. All right, hey guys, today we have our very special guest, our first uh, furry guest. No, Colleen is the first, is the first furry okay, guest. Okay, she's never been invited. Colleen has been invited several times. Colleen barges in. <laughs> she's taking a nap right there. She's so cute. Anyway, give it up for Potato. This dog is... Curse the Carly dog. This dog is terrified of everything. This is a scary... This, this, what we, we, this is a scary dog. Very scary. Like, I, I came to bring the ring light out. I came to bring the ring light. To lit to light us and potato, would just... y'all are doing something to him in this house. <laughs> I'm not doing anything to this dog. I feel bad for this man. I don't do anything to this dog. I mean, I I've said I've said it many times on the podcast and to you in life. I am not a fan of dogs. I had dogs growing up. He is literally right here. <laughs> I've had dogs growing up. You had you had Grizzly. So growing up, I had he um, Zeus, Cronus, Zeus, Hercules. No, no, no. Cleopatra killed my cat, but I wasn't our dog. It was the oh. neighbor's dog. Growing up, I had a walk and wine. Those were our two walk Labrador. and wine. Walk and wine because it was it's a it's um a soca song. Walk and wine. I, I know what wine. Is. I know what wine. Is. One of my best friends is from St. Louis. I know what whining is. No, but there is a song called Walk, walk and Wine. wine. It's like Walk and Wine. When you gonna walk and wine? You gonna walk and wine? Wind the bapu, pon the door to get it. So you gonna walk and wine? Wind it up, then you drop it. Like you gonna walk and wine? Wind it down. Wine, wine, wine. Hua. When you start doing your West Indian, your, your Caribbean accent, you, you do your vowels so wide. Like, walk yeah, and wide. wide. <laughs> Don't you know you gotta walk and wind? You your vowels so wide. Go sit down now, put out your toe, you gotta walk and wind. Go tell you now. Hey. Also, you put H's in front of everything. Walk and wide. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Monet were doing this song, we're doing this song with Todrick. I didn't have your secret, but um, Mon- I didn't realize this. Monet does a song. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my ad libs. No, but Monet. Oh, my, 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 um, my punch. Uh, it always really sings. I didn't realize this. She breathes at the end of every and on, only on only on, on stacking doubles. That's what I she's do. Like, um, she's like um she's like um like like we're not soak asking it for up. charity. Ah. Charity. Soak it up. Ah. That's not what I do. It's we're not asking for charity. Charity. Ah. <laughs> bitch, I'm Beyonce. Ah. I don't bitch. do that. No, she does. She goes. She goes. Bitch, I'm Beyonce. Ah. I mean, <laughs> I with that. permission, I would love to send the raw vocals of this one because Monet's like, bitch, I'm Beyonce. Ah. I'll do yeah. <laughs> never meant to love like this. Uh, <laughs> I do not. No, you never had to love like this. Uh, anyway, so that, <laughs> I was like, I've never heard this. So walk in wine, but they my parents had them before I came. So like by the time I got came into the picture, they were on their way out. So walk in wine were around for like three years, and then they died. And after they died, I got my first pet, which was Spike. Spike was like a mutt, like a mix of several Spike. several dogs. Honestly, the same color as potato, but like bigger, like around this big. And then Spike died. Like, I don't know. Something happened to Spike. And then we had, then I had Blossom. And Blossom was my poodle. And then, um, and then after that, then I had the cat that got killed by Cleopatra. But so I grew up with dogs, but I just, but it, okay. Instantly, probably this, I think. Honestly, just for Cleopatra. They, but they, who knows what they can't do to Cleopatra? This is American. This might be an American thing. In St. Lucia, dogs are outside animals. Dogs do not. Are not inside. Well, okay, it depends on where you are. New York City and LA, big cities do not have outside dogs. I'm from the country. We there are outside dogs. Yeah, our dog was outside. So you having a dog City, inside, so obviously you would never have an outside dog, right? You unless you mean? have a house. Because my, but, my no, but it's cold. You don't keep the dog outside. No, my cousin in Queens, had, their, their their dog was outside all year. I think like the, the dog house had like a thing to keep it like warm in the winter. And the that, yeah, yeah, we need to report. Get, drop the drop the <laughs> attic. We need to report them. But so having like a dog inside, I just I just think dogs are so nasty. But we do have a system here. Every time they're not as nasty as cats. No, this yes. nigga is shitting in your house. But here, but but so does he. <laughs> <laughs> he looking like Ann. <laughs> he did it today twice. But he, he like he shits or he gets he like he just shits out of nervousness, like out of sheer. Like, is, oh my god, this he, like, he like if he sneezes, he'll start shitting. Also, you, you have to share. Please share the video. When they posted a uh, video of her and um, Potato <laughs> listening to SZA, I, I would thought this nigga went through ten breakups. This, I was like, "Did you go through a breakup?" Look, he at, was he was wrapped up, sad. I was like, "What is what is going on? What who who 
broke his heart. We're gonna put this in the video. So RC, remember RC was here for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So we were out for we were out. Andy and I were I was at a show watching Andy perform, and then RC sent me a text. She's like, Kevin, what do I do? I don't know what to do. This is crazy. I'm gonna we're gonna we're, I'm gonna send this video as soon as we're done. I'm gonna give it to Jay because Jay can give it to Jay. Look at this, Bob. <laughs> What is this cat doing to this dog? <laughs> the cat Colleen is in her bed. Wait, is, is, is Colleen fucking with him? No. You'll see. What is going on? What the hell? <laughs> is he trapped? Hey. He got trapped in the, in the tub. Out? I think he got scared. I'm and he scared just, that's why he cried. And he pooped in the tub. In a, he shit it in the tub. <laughs> oh, hell no. So, we tried to put him on like puppy Prozac and stuff, but the puppy Prozac didn't work. I don't know. If you're going to poop anywhere, the tub is the best place to do it. Honestly, I'm like, can he do that all the time? He goes to shit inside? Let's just put him down. <laughs> Stairs. Hey, you are put him downstairs. You need to be what is wrong with you? We have a system. Anytime Eddie takes him out, we have Eddie has to like wipe his paws and stuff. Because again, the dog gets on the conscious of I'm like, Colleen doesn't go outside. So I'm not worried about like cleaning us like that way. But you know what I mean? Colleen is a fucking old lady. She don't she don't do nothing on I love my little girl. She's over just sleeping. Colleen used to be like Colleen used to be doing the renegade. Corvette Corvette. Now Colleen used to be like I love her. Anyways, Colleen is not at Colleen. I, I was surprised she jumped up on a uh, counter the other day to the podcast. I said, "Oh, don't break a hip, <laughs> Grandma Colleen." She and, gave, her, gave her old lady name. I, I see her old lady, and she's definitely um adopting that. And to be fair, I think Potato is a sweet, cute dog. He's just he's just crazy, and I just you know, he's a, he is a, he is anxious. He's a, a lot of very. Are we try giving him Prozac. They have puppy Prozac, but it's not working for her. Um. Anyway, would so Jacob told me that y'all are getting a dog. That was false. Jacob absolutely did not tell you that. I know Jacob didn't tell you that because we're not getting a dog. There's no way Jacob was like, we're getting a dog. Okay, maybe I broke the news. You guys heard it here heard first. But well, Jacob's you, considering it. You're getting a dog, Jacob? <laughs> Were you getting a dog? <laughs> you don't have a microphone. You don't have a mic. They, they give a little sub subtitle. I didn't want Nathan. I was in a dog. You know the bit. No, because we were talking about like this is a bit. We're talking about this is a bit. I know it's a bit because Jacob's allergic to dogs. Jacob's allergic to pets. This is a complete <laughs> bit. I know this bit is not real. Jacob is allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to dogs and cats. And Jacob, I'm allergic to dogs and cats as well. Jacob has to like Jacob literally has to get Zyrtec before he comes over here. Jacob, we come over here. Jacob be like, I gotta get my Zyrtec. So I pop a Benadryl once a day. Like normally I'm good, but if it's so my allergy. You're happens. high. Mm hmm. You're high, but I, I mean, they don't get me. You're high. I, right think, I think you're I think my, on drugs. I think my body is so uh, accustomed to it; it doesn't really. Uh, it, but are you on drugs? <laughs> no. So but, are, you, are you on Benadryl? I am. It's Benadryl a drug. Yes, you're on drugs. <laughs> but my allergy happens if I touch the animal and then I touch my face. That's when I start to get itchy. My eyes get red, and my throat. I do the <coughs> that thing that sound you said I make. I hate. That's when my thing comes. So I just can't touch my face if I touch I animal. If I hate that sound. I love that sound. I think it's funny, but I never said I hate that sound. Jasmine Rice used to call it my, my dick sucking sound. I'm like, bitch, you make that sound when you're sucking dick? That does not sound pleasurable for anyone. I can see someone making that sound while sucking dick. I can see someone making that sound while sucking dick. How? The technique was <laughs> impressive. That technique was <laughs> giving. Oh my god whoa hey yo why is everyone bricked up right now <laughs> Can I, so we're doing this podcast at my house at my house today and i'm like bitch i feel like we're like those tiktok um tiktok podcast this is no gorge yes <laughs> wait what's 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 our version of no gorge no gorge i think it's uh soak it up first purse yeah. it up purse it up i like purse it up but i think first it up. well you know i think that i'm gonna get i'm gonna redo my um my studio why? Like how? I, I'm gonna make it look like a. I want. I think I want to put two. I'm gonna. Put, I think. I think I'm gonna put a, a, a small table in the middle. Two, um, ch two. What do you call them? Like like love. Not love seats. Chairs. Two chairs. Two like chairs. Chairs. But not like 
kitchen table chairs, like like a oh, like, like a, a coffee table size. Yeah, but like a living room t- t- chair. Mm-hmm. Um, and like maybe have someone decorate it up, or maybe decorate it myself, so it looks kind of more loungy, more like yeah. chill. I do it. I, it's very I, the, our, the, the studio space that I have in my house is very is, professional. It's very nondescript. Yeah, very nondescript. It, it's, yeah. it's very like yeah, which I like for my YouTube videos. So I am a little bit nervous about doing that for my YouTube videos. But someone's calling you. Should I answer on the on the pod? Do it, bitch. Hello, you're on speakerphone. Where did you call from? I I can't. That's my. That's you hear what I said. What is that? Right, that is. Those those are my cousins. Oh, the one you talking about earlier in in prison in prison. Well, he's not, he's not listening to this. My cousin <laughs> in prison. <laughs> Bitch, they had they, <laughs> shit. Scissors shared a video of inmates in jail. They got a TV in their cell, and they're like, "To the new bitch." There, are people jail prisons are getting wild. These you can do anything in prison. Honestly, I don't understand. I mean, like people that TikTok. Have you seen people that TikTok from prison? Yes, I have. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, I, I was thinking about this. Well, we we must take a break. We must have been fifteen minutes by now, right? Okay. Um, do I have time to go into this, or, or, or how close are we? Fifteen minutes. Okay. So I have this this like thought process about cell phones in prison, and should prisoners be allowed to have cell phones mm-hmm. in prison? And part of me is like, yes, prisoners should be allowed to have cell phones because prison is not a prison should not be about punishing. Prison is it is about, not though? Prison is supposed to be about rehabilitating, not punishing. It's about rehabilitating. So the so the, the punishment is a sentence, and when you're there, you're you're is rehab from from then on. It I, should be about rehabilitation. So I think that you should be allowed to like have a like. I think just because you're in prison doesn't mean you can't like enjoy your life and have fun and do things. You just can't be out in the public, and you're supposed to be rehabilitating from whatever you're in prison from. Now I will say this: if you are some sort of a maybe a sex offender, right, and you you, you can say. use the internet to uh, harass or hurt people or uh, do that more. Then maybe you should have some supervised cell phone use, and maybe they should be supervising the use. But I don't really see why. Like, if someone's in there for like tax evasion, why can't they use a phone? Well, I mean, a lot of white collar crimes they're, they they are treated different because these people have more money, they have more access, and their situation is a little different. Well, I, let's say you're a little petty theft. You should be able to use your phone. Like, why can't you use a phone? Well, I think I, I'm not completely opposed. But I think it's a it's a case by case basis. If you're a Jeffrey Dahmer or you're a Ted, bitch, you don't need no motherfucking phone. Bitch, you are lucky that we even let you out of your cell. But are we supposed to be rehabilitating these people? I mean, for certain people, but like, let's say you have life in prison, you're never getting out. So, bitch, and also if you are Jeffrey Dahmer, you you kill 17 people. You and uh, no, I'm sorry, I think that you do not get to use. You don't get a cell phone. You don't get an internet. You don't get anything. You have, you have, you have catastrophically changed seventeen people's lives. You have like, you have like destroyed their everything. So you don't get to enjoy the privileges that a lot of us that that other people do. But I think that the that the issue is that it, it, then we're looking at prison as as the whole purpose of it is just to punish people. It's just to make their lives horrible because some, they've because they've done. I don't think that should be the purpose of prison. I think the purpose of prison should be to make some people should be detained. Because you don't want them to be able to be out there doing more danger to people. And I think some of them need to be rehabilitated. I think the purpose of prison should be either to detain so that people cannot be violent. So mm. if you are a murderer, you're here so you can't keep murdering people. But we also want to see what's, wrong, what's going on. Why are you a serial killer? There's obviously something's not right up in this piece. So we need to rehabilitate you. I mean, I think it's a case by case basis. I, I do agree that some people, like especially for all the people sitting in jail, you know, let's take a break and we'll talk a, a little bit more about it. All the people sitting in jail for like weed sentences and like and like petty things, but they end up serving these crazy sentences. I, I agree that like these people should not, they should have access to the internet and cell phones and TV. But they do have access to the internet in jail, but it's very some, some people don't. Some people don't, yeah. Yeah. But I think across the board, you should. But things like 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 uh, uh, being able to like watch your favorite program and 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 cell phone having a cell phone, I think that should be a case by case. I, or there should be like a, a a level like 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 a like a tier system. If you're like a category five, uh, uh, Jean Grey, uh, dark phoenix type murderer, bitch, you're getting your no. I know. I disagree. I I don't think that you should be. I don't think the purpose of prison should ever be to just make someone's life miserable because mm-hmm. I, I don't want to. I do not want. I mean, my tech. I mean, I I don't have a say in. I do have a say in. It. There's voting, but I don't want my. I would not. I, my my dream is not to have my tax dollars go toward torturing anybody, even if they did torture. Someone is it torture else. though? 
if they're just not it getting could, a cell phone? Could, uh, oh, I think that there are some people who are in prison who would say that prison is torture. Yeah, yeah, for some people I'm saying, but on, just, on, on our topic, but not like, giving someone a cell phone, I don't think is that's torture. You still get to go outside. You still get to use the internet. You just don't have the privilege of something as nice of a cell phone. I mean, it's not, that's not torture. But I think but it, maybe it's what's good for the goose, what's good for the gander type, so everyone has to have the same right. So, like, for example, if you go to prison and you come out, up until recently, and most people who go to prison who have felonies cannot vote. Oh, yeah. Ever again. They changed it in Florida, but they fucked, but some, there's some crazy shit going on with that. Did you hear about that? What? You know, because because Latrice was under this, but yeah. because she was in Florida and they passed that law, she was able to vote again. But with the fucking Republicans, they did some, they did some sneaky law that it was actually that um, so there was some sneaky way they did it. And then some people, felons were showing up to vote. They're like, I can vote. But then they were being arrested because of the way that they changed the law. It was, it was like a whole thing. I, I read about it. I think that I think this might where I might people disagree with me. I think prisoners should be able to vote even in prison. It is really? it's, your, it's your right as a, you should be able to vote. Yeah, because those laws still affect you. This is true. These laws still affect you. So yeah. I do agree. If you are a horrible driver and you keep crashing the people and they take your license, that makes sense. But that is, but you should still be allowed to vote. Or if you if you are a, I, I honestly that murderers should be able to vote. I think that arsonists should be able to vote. I think that uh, tax evaders should be able to vote. I think that everyone should be able to vote. I don't think you should be able to have your right to vote taken away from you, even yeah. if, even if you're a bad person. I haven't put a lot of thought into it. I'm trying to think about it really fast, really quick. Because right because now. I think we are programmed as an as a nation to look at prison as punishment. The whole purpose of prison is just to punish people. Mm -hmm. The bad guys are being punished. They're never being rehabilitated. Then that's why that's why people keep my back is hurting. Is it? Girl, I the way I've been trying to support myself by sitting up. We want to put some more. Oh, now she. Oh, before the before the pod, I was trying to get Monet to be hospitable. Okay. First of all, how is that? Uh, Monet, yeah, thank you. Well, Monet would not do now she now she's a mother Martha <laughs> Stewart. Now, she, now, she, now she's a Martha Stewart. Now Monet is just uh let me let me. Okay, so Bob walks in here and he's it, Bob Bob walks Every in. Every time I come he on, takes I his snack. shoes off and the first thing he walks to the fridge and be like, there's never anything here for me. And I'm like, I, I, I went have, to the cabinet, not the fridge. And I have a I have I have salsa waters in the fridge, spinge rip, the nice ones. And I have popcorn and stuff in the in the in, in the in the cabinet. That felt like an attack on my Waterloo's. I love Waterloo too. But it felt like it felt that felt personal. <laughs> oh my god! And Spindrift are great, by the way. <laughs> they are. And then so Bob is like, Monique, is he open? I have popcorn. I, I love popcorn. It's like a nice little healthy snack. Pep too. Pep's obsessed with popcorn. I love, it. and because you can put you can put seasoning on it, and it's a nice little healthy snack. Anyway, so and Bob was like, "Can you pop this for me?" I was like, "No." Bob has been coming over to places that I dwell. For the better part, you can't of, my home. <laughs> Dom domiciles where I partake in sleep and nap. So when Bob, you're not a you're not a guest, so you can go in the cabinet, and dig a popcorn and pop, and Bob knows that he's like he wanted me to do it for him, and you didn't want to do it just because I wanted you to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, you were ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, Andy, who was was a gracious host. And he, was, was, he was putting on. He not like that. And was time. raised right. He was putting on. You were raised right. You just, it just didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to your parents, but it wasn't their fault. <laughs> um, but Andy did uh, pop me some popcorn, which I greatly appreciate, and it was delicious. It's good. What? What? Okay, my favorite popcorn seasoning. I like. I like mixing the white cheddar with the nacho seasoning. It's so good. So if I go out and get the seasoned popcorn, the already done popcorn, <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to Chicago style popcorn, which is caramel Shit. and cheddar cheese. Oh, oh, my. Okay. Yo, cheddar, like when it's like, when, I mean, when it's like, when the cheddar cheese is like, it's like the whole popcorn is orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like Cheetos with the caramel. Yeah. It is transcendent. It is the next level. It is the, it is the holy grail of popcorns. Now I'm going to be using the, um, the, the, the kernel seasons. You know what they call? Mm -hmm. This is not a pay. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Um, I like to use the nacho cheese ones and the ranch one's fine, but it doesn't taste super ranchy. It doesn't taste ranchy. But also they, 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 they seem like a clump. Like I, I've never had them this long. I always lose mine because I, I try to take them with me, which is my mistake. You know, you were now I remember you're the first person to introduce me to these. Bob, there was a, back when we used to live at nine, four, five, we, you live the 945 Amsterdam. There, Bob had a phase where you would carry popcorn Everywhere. seasoning in your purse. That's where. where <laughs> <laughs> but I kept losing them, so I stopped carrying them around. But I used to carry popcorn seasoning everywhere I went. <laughs> what? Oh, so I realized because, because you can put it on more than just popcorn. I sound like uh, I sound like. What do you put it on? You can put it on French fries. You can put it on white um, cheddar French fries, but not I mean, nacho cheese. You know, oh my god, nacho cheese French fries. 
girl taco bell <laughs> we're coming for your gig <laughs> um you can put it on um sometimes put it on your eggs um like like a scrambled egg the way like anywhere you would you put sprinkle some salt you can sprinkle a little bit of the seasoning and, and we used to go to the we used to go to the movies we used to go, uh, sometimes yeah but I went to the but we we we, were, we stayed at a diner and you know that yeah the diners were and girl when they busted one of these out and everyone's always kick 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 cackling until you want some of the seasoning until <laughs> you want your fries to be ranch too oh so I guess we're gonna make this one about prisons here's a question uh, how many members of your family went to prison I have I have Say two there. <laughs> Say their cell numbers. I have two number, two members of my family who've been to prison. One used to, one currently. Uh, I, I, this is a game that I'm not proud to win. <laughs> but I mean, my cousin who just called, mm -hmm. one of my two of my uncles, my father. Uh, I think just f prison four. Yeah, I have. I have. I it was my mine was my uncle and my my younger estranged brother. Like my aunt, my grandmother sent me my aunt sent me a link. She texted me a link, and it was an article of him in Milwaukee getting, like he tried to like do armed robbery, and he, he's now in prison. It's like wild. My cousin also made the news for being on the run. Yes, yeah, he my 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 oh my god, not a, this this sounds crazy. It's just like you know, and he was arrested at his birthday party. What? Yeah, his birthday party. Because he was he, he he like he like broke out of prison. <laughs> I don't know. He like somehow escaped he broke from prison. Out of prison. Yeah, he somehow escaped from prison, and then he got arrested at his own birthday party. What? Escaped <laughs> on Fox Five News. Escaped inmate nabbed at his own birthday party. That's wild, girl. Like yeah, like um, oh my god, my brother was on Fox. Milwaukee man charges. Yeah, shooting. I was on Fox Five Atlanta. You was Fox Six Milwaukee. Girl, oh not 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 the mugshot compare com comparison. I know. That's yeah, they don't do this on Bald and the Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trixie, where's your uncle's mugshot? Do you, do where's you, his story? Do you think? Do you think we look alike? You and him? He looks. He looks a lot like his dad. I mean, I could see. He looks a lot like his dad. He oh, looks like a spinning image of his dad. Can we put his picture up? I don't. That seems a little invasive. I mean, that's what I I mean, I'm not, no one knows except you. You're right. <laughs> I'll send it to the group chat. Do so um, you think my cousin look alike? We don't look anything alike. No, 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 no. No, no. he looks like my aunt, though. My aunt uh, Hazel. No, my aunt uh, Stephanie. Like his mom, Stephanie. Give us a name. Her name is not Stephanie. But don't you have an aunt Stephanie? I have my aunt Stephanie's dead. She's my oh. only dead aunt. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Oh I have aunt Tracy. 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 Um, but he does look like my aunt. But yeah. Anyway. So he, I, I, he was. I feel like I, I'm not gonna put my cousin, my family's business out on the street, but he, my cousin, did just call me for prison, which is, which is wild. I was like, not calling me for prison, but I, also you gotta call for prison. But also, like, I, I want to say that my cousin should be able to vote, and now he won't be able to vote anymore because of his transgressions in the past. And doing bad stuff doesn't mean you should have your rights stripped away. And, and that's how that's especially how they get. A lot of black, black folks. folks. Yeah. And you know, I'm thinking about it more. I think, I think there's a statistic that said like a third of, I, I might be wrong, but I think like a third of black men in Alabama can't vote. I, the more I think about it, the more I think that is a valid point. Like just because you do break the law, no matter how egregious, you still are a citizen. And if you are, if you do get on parole or you are let back into society, then you will never, ever be able to vote again. That does seem a little, what about this? Uh, um, a, a law compromise. What about you can vote for your time in jail, but when you leave, you're, you can vote again. I think you should be able to vote the whole time. You should be allowed to vote. Yeah. I was saying that voting should not be on one day. Voting should be on more than one day. Voting should be a I week agreed. long process. Why does it have to be on one day? It, it, something about it is very elitist. You have to get the day off. You, I mean, you obviously you all know that you can do absentee ballots, which are really big now mm -hmm. because of the Ponder replay. So we've all started using, a lot of people started using absentee ballots and voting early. Yeah. Um, so voting early, it was like uh, when Biden won, that was the biggest early voting that's ever happened in the yeah. history of voting. I, I did it for the, actually, no, I've been doing absentee ballots since I got on Drag Race. Really? Yeah, because I can't be home for voting all the time. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I feel like we're at a slumber party. I know. Um, but I think that you should be allowed to vote the whole time, in my opinion. And it should be a week-long process. <sighs> like, what if you can't get the day off? Can you hear me, Jacob? This is off, huh? I'll, I'll sit up. A little far. You starting your back starting to hurt too? My back just starts to hurt. See? <laughs> I just gave out a little earlier. <laughs> let, me, let me um
Oh, thank you. Not, not about breaking my. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, I think I told on the podcast already. When we were at Jackie Ida's house and Bob, <laughs> Bob almost destroyed Jackie Ida's whole apartment. I did not. That is not true. That Jacob is was not there. true. Jacob saw it. Jacob was there. No, what happened was I was wearing the, the dress that I wear. <laughs> It's comfortable. Uh huh. And I, as I was walking, the dress caught like a something, and I started, to, I started to drag it off the table, and then I think I leaned into one other thing, and Monet was like, but nothing was broken, nothing fell over. Monet was because, like, you are okay, destroying okay, this woman's arm. Well, twirled the thing, literally, it was like a cartoon. It went, whoop, whoop. I was like, huh. and I was like, but girl, I was like, girl, be careful. But I was like, I know that he turned around and it hit the other thing. The other thing started going. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But nothing <laughs> fell though, and nothing <laughs> fell. Nothing had fell at all. When is that video coming out, girl? I mean, to be fair, I just did a video with Bosco that I think I filmed before that even, and the, that video just came out. Okay, so in in Miss Ina's defense, I love following Jackie Ina on TikTok. Her TikTok is so engaging to me. It is love. She has a really beautiful home, right? Uh, she and her she, her home is fierce, and her content looks. It's so. What's the word? Not pleasing. It's so um, satisfying. Aesthetic, aesthetically, oh. aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing and satisfying to watch. I um, I, this is not a brag, but I just want to tell the story because it, it, it's like a me being like humble. It's not me being humble. It's whatever. I went to I went to Charlie's Theron's holiday party mm-hmm. last night, and she was like, "Bob, um, where do you live?" And I was like, "I live like four minutes from here, at the at the bottom of the hill." <laughs> and she was like, oh, "Well, I'm gonna have to come over," <laughs> and I was like. I'm not, I didn't, I was like, oh, okay, but I was also like, like, I'm in her, like, literal palatial estate, and I'm not inviting you to, like, be like, ooh, child, that gets, like, <laughs> like, I don't live in, like, a bum bitch home, but I don't want Jackie Anna being like, ooh, child, the ghetto, the ghetto, how y'all live like that? A uh, stainless steel, fr- you can see the fridge? <laughs> like, I didn't want, I don't want that experience, I'm just like, you know what, I'll come back up here. I was a party, was it fierce? It was it was really lovely. I I got into this um what do you call it? like a like a a contest with this guy. Of course so you did, Bob. They're just like this. She had all these like um yeah circus things. So always like carnival games, for carnival, the car, maybe carnival theme almost for the holiday. Can we not judge? She's not American, Monet. <laughs> She's, I don't know how they do in South well, Africa. Well, you, you're not even pronouncing her name right. I think it's Charlize Theron. No, Charlize Theron. I you literally don't, yes, don't know that. she literally said it in interviews. I, I went to one of those YouTube. I will call her. <laughs> <laughs> I went to one of those interviews, like on, the, on one of those YouTube holes where like celebrities, like like guess these celebrities that don't speak English, they speak other languages. And like it was, she was on there, and it was her doing an interview on something, and she was like, and they're like, how do you pronounce your name? She's like, it's actually pronounced Charlize Theron, but everyone says Theron. Which There's, goes back to our conversation from a podcast ago, years ago, and talking about where people just mispronounce your name, you just go with it. She's one of Ariana them. Grande. Ariana she, Grande. She said her name was Ariana Grande. Everyone just calls it Grande. She just goes along with it. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you going to blame us? You keep answering to it? You know what I mean? If Lupita and Yango can get her name pronounced correctly, Ariana Grande can do it. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, yeah, so, I, but the party was really fun. Oh, so I, this, 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 there's this, um, the like, like a sl- like a hammer, and the uh-huh. goes, and it, it, but it was like a ding. It was like a number to show how hard you hit it. And I was like, I want the number one spot. Of course. I want the number one spot. And it was a straight guy that I was going against. And I was like, I have to. I, and he was like a tiny little muscle thing. And I was like, I have to be. And I'm not muscly, but I am stronger than I look. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I would agree with that. And I was like, I have to beat him. And I was like, I know I can. He was short, but he was thick. And I was like. The dude just built like a fire hydrant. Oh, fully. He was I a can that. of beans. Work. He was a can of beans. Is this the video of it? No, this is Charlie Theron's getting her name pronounced. Oh. Oh, shit, Jake. I pressed something. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, is this it? Sorry. Anyway, uh, let's just get through this first. So then, so then the guy's like, um, so the guy's like, uh, so he, so basically you hit this thing. They were like, most people can't get above like 530. Mm-hmm. Like 530 is the highest. So this guy was at 743. Damn. And I was like, okay. So then I fucking mustered up my might and I fucking hit it. And I got to like 701. And the guy was like, you're the only other person to get above 700. For whatever the worst thing, you're the, literally the only other person to get above 700. Uh-huh. I, was like, I can do this. I'm watching the take. Everyone, everyone's rooting for, Everyone wants me to do it. Everyone's like, you know, a crowd is forming. Oh, there is a full crowd 
of people. Who all is there? Um, um, uh, what's her name? Aisha Taylor. Aisha Tyler is there. Tyler. Um, the guy who plays Beast in um in X Men. Oh, he's hot. The skinny one. Skinny one. Not Kelsey Grammer. Nicholas, Nicholas Holt. Holt. He's hot. Nicholas Holt is there. The head of Paramount is there. Am I lying, Jacob? I'm I'm being uh Journey. Uh, no, not Journey. Journey J- January. January Jones. January Jones is there. And, I, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this guy. And when I, I, who? Okay, now Jake, now, now Jake's being silly. <laughs> um, so I take the the and I and I I like, all my might and I hit it. His was seven forty three. I got like seven thirty nine. Damn. And I was like, I can't. It, he went back and redid, it and he, he couldn't even do redo out his own score. But I got very very close, and I was very sad that I didn't. I didn't say you were. Did I say you're wrong? Yes. Oh, well, oh, you're right. <laughs> but I'm saying Char- Charlize, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. <laughs> this should do not have a, Okay, can I just say this? I'm going to put this on the internet, on, on the world. Charlize should be a guest judge on Drag Race. Oh, she'd be amazing. she loves drag. There could be a night of a thousand Charlize's. Honestly, now, she's that, done a lot. Oh, yes. She's done a lot. Oh, A School of Good and Bad. Uh-huh. The, um, uh, Aaron Brock. Not, uh, what's the... Um, when she did the role? Monster? Uh, her name was Eileen Warno. Yeah, Eileen Warno. Eileen Warno. Uh, the, the 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 Huntsman. The, the what is it? Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White and the Huntsman. I feel like Charlize. Ravenna. Ravenna. Charlize dresses up in her movie. Like Charlize has like Atomic her, Blonde. Atomic Blonde. I love Atomic Blonde. Um, and, and um, what was the one where she played the the anchor, the news anchor? Oh, um, um, a bombshell. Was she in bombshell? Charlize. Thur- Charlize. I mean, this is no shade to Jennifer Lopez, but I think her looks are more iconic than Jennifer Lopez's because she plays these insane roles in these films. I don't think J Lo is known. J Lo's known for I mean, this is oh, the J the J Loians. The J Lo hands are gonna come get me. But no, um, we're called six trainers. They're called what? Six trainers. And I get why, but <laughs> but I mean, like J Lo has like as far as iconic looks, she has like two. Iconic look. That's not okay. Which ones? The the Versace dress. Uh huh. And like the white suit. Uh, made in Manhattan is an iconic look. It may, it's not fierce. Was it the turtleneck? No, her and her maiden uh, outfit. Ma- <laughs> it's an iconic J Lo look. I think Charlize is known for her, like because in her movie she dressed like she for some reason she just keeps like being in these films that require her to like wear these like crazy outfits. I feel. Don't you think so? Hmm. Oh, also her. Oh, and, um, yeah, uh, uh, her uh, and a Maze Runner, or the the what is it called? Not Maze Runner. Fast and the Furious, Atomic Blonde, uh-huh. um, uh, the Mad Hun- Max. What I meant, the Huntsman, Mad Max. Um, oh my God, there, there are some. Yeah, she's got some great looks. She also, she also. I met her, Eileen Warnos. Yeah, she's got some looks. I met her at the season two we're here premiere, and I was sitting right next. To her. I think I told a story in the podcast before, and I was and, and I was holding the seats. Oh my God, I think I don't think I had some on the podcast. So. You and we're back there. Let's take a break. I'll tell you about the, uh, what the time I met Shirley. So we're at the season two. We're here premiere. Bob and Shangela and Yuka went out to do their thing because we're about to watch the episode. Or, or y'all went to go do something else. Anyway, so I, Andy and I sat and then Jacob and Ezra walked over and they were like, uh, Jacob and Ezra were like, are these two seats open? I was like, yeah, no one's sitting there. Like, y'all can sit next to us. And then Jacob and Ezra went to go do, I think maybe get a drink or something else. So then like two minutes later, I walked over. I didn't realize it was Charlize. Charlize and someone she was with. And she was like, hi, um, is anyone sitting here? And in my mind, I was like, I just told Jacob and Ezra. But I was like, this is Charlize. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> Drag <laughs> like, them. No one's sitting here, girl. <laughs> Damn. Charlize is very tall. She's very tall. She's like 5'11". So I stood up to like. To like Charlize the Stallion. <laughs> I went, I stood up to hug her and I didn't have my shoes on. I had flats on. I, I stood up to hug her to be like, oh my God, I love you. And she was like, oh my God, Monet. And I was like, oh my God, you're tall. She's like, yeah, people always forget it. I'm, I'm really tall. Because I was looking at her eye to eye. We're the same height. She was very sweet. And she was you were very, in heels. Yeah. No, I, I took my heels off at this oh. point. But she was very, she's very, very, very nice. I, I was at this story too, which I, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble. I mean, I was just telling her what happened. So we were at this the, at Charlie's party and then um, she goes, um, that's my mom. And I said, she pointed at this like, group of women. And I said, oh my God, that's your mom? Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, I say, you and your mom look the same age. This is crazy. She was like, what? I said, you and your mom look the same age. <laughs> and she was like, well, that's great for my mom. And I was like, no, this is wild. So I went to turn around and do something. And I turned back and her mom was over there. And then her mom, was, then she was telling her mom, she was like, well, Bob thinks that we look the same age, which is great for you. 
but that wasn't the woman I thought she was pointing at. Who was it? It was it was just some. It was like a woman standing near her mom. Got it. But at that point, I couldn't be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. You look old. No, <laughs> and she doesn't look old. She looks good. But I was but like, she does not just look. But, like but then I thought, and then I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh my. And Charlize thinks I'm, I'm, I'm like, what are you? So serious? Like it wasn't one of those like fake compliments. I was like, she pointed at a woman who was like her age, and I was like, this is crazy because you women look the same age. Got it. But then by the time the woman came over, it was not. The woman she pointed at, but Damn. I was, but I couldn't be like, no, 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 no. Actually, you do like her mom because that would have been <laughs> horrible. <laughs> what are you doing in that scenario? <laughs> what do you do? I think, I think, do the bothering. Just crack a joke and just make people mind. Did you just crack a joke to make it go away? I just later told her what happened. What happened? And she was like, "Oh, that's funny." I should tell my mom. And I was like, "Well, not while I'm here. I'm leaving." <laughs> and I left. <laughs> Did anything salacious happen? Did you can tell us. Did anyone punch anyone by the by the by the by the fruit punch? No, there was a cock, there was a server that was hitting on me. Ooh. I thought it was hitting on me. What do you, what do you think, Jacob? Do you think he's hitting on me? Jacob thinks he was. How? Like like what, what was like, happening? He was like making like I like he was like he would walk by with like the food and be like, okay, I'm gonna try to be like him. Right? He'd be like he'd be like all these people. He'd be like, can I get you anything else? Ooh. Okay. What do you look like? He, uh, like, if someone did this to Jacob, like, Jacob, but, like, kind of bigger, <laughs> taller. <laughs> he, he didn't wear glasses, though. He, he kind of looked like, uh, like a white guy with dark hair. Got like it. A, like a skinny white guy with dark hair, but, like, Got bigger it. than Jacob. Got it. <laughs> Jacob, y'all don't know. Jacob, they know Jacob's tiny. Jacob was like, yeah, Jacob. I mean, tiny. people that see him at, at our live show, but to many people, they don't. I mean, I guess if they go on your social media, but people who just maybe just listen to our podcast weekly, they have no idea how big Jacob is. They, Jacob could be six foot seven. Well, Jacob, is, Jacob is not tall. Jacob's five, 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 six, five, 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 six. Um, I got hit on the other day at the Streamies. I have never been hit on this hard in my life. I was like, I don't even know what to do right the now. Laying on thick. It was like, I was like, this is, I have never, no one's ever hit on me. What this do they do? This guy was like, he was, he came to me, he was like, you are very tall. And I said, yep, I'm a big lady. And he goes, I have a type. And I said, I was like, oh my God. I was like, what was is, he cute? He was cute. He was cute. I was like, what's going on? All, I was, I've just never, no one's ever been this blatant with hitting on me ever. Got it. And he was just like, oh, I have a type. I have a type. Okay, here's a question. If you, okay, so let's say he, he kept on hitting on you and you were into it, would you be the type to go back to your private dressing room and do something in there? Well, my, my dressing room wasn't private. It was me. But if and, you had a private dressing room. Um, I, I think it depends on who it is and where I'm at. What if, okay, let's say. So the stream is no. Even if I had a private dressing room, not the stream is not. Really? I was up in drag. And I don't really like getting down like that in drag. I mean, it was a rehearsal when I was out of drag, he was hitting on me. Okay. Was, let's say you're out of drag. Like, what is it? What is it? What? Like on a movie set? Oh, like if, 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 okay. Uh, let's say I'm on a movie set. Mm -hmm. Someone's hitting on me. Who's hitting on me? Is it a PA? No. <laughs> is it a co star? Yeah, we can get down in the trailer. Really? Oh, me and a co star can get down in the trailer. Okay. One, to anyone in the future film with me, <laughs> if, 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 honestly, if we're both filming it, we can get down in the trailer. <laughs> Y'all can get some bonus content for OnlyFans. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> your own BTA. Hey, we shooting B roll. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot B roll over your face, honey. Oh, Bob, this is a family you show. You like facials? Um, what do you want to come in me? In my butt? <laughs> I don't know why that was something you said. In me? <laughs> you want it in your butt? You don't want it on your face or down your throat or anything? Um, if I'm sucking a dick, then maybe they can. It, it depends. When you swallow, do you like? Is it, do it be in there or do you go straight to the back? Or do you be like, oh. no, straight to the back? Here's the thing when cum gets cold, it's whack. Cum needs to be warm. Cum is a, cum, cum is a, is, is a dish best serve, served serve warm. <laughs> but I mean, like, how cold? When you come back in, in, in three like, minutes? Like, <laughs> what, like, like, how cold does the cum get? But once the cum is out, it starts to, bitch, I don't, it, there's some, what shit gets warmer? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it real quick or it will burn a hole to the sheets. <laughs> as soon as cum starts to touch air, it starts to get cold. It starts, it starts to like cool down. It's immediately. Yeah, but it's only about ninety eight point six degrees technically. So <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah, that's not very warm. Yeah, it, so it me. starts to just really. And I, so when it's like, because then it gets it gets cold, it coagulates a little bit. So where do you like? Where do you like to put it? What do you mean put it? I know where you like to take it. Where do you like to put your your your? Oh, cum? in a mouth and a booty. Or, yeah, I like my cum in. Never on a face. You don't want to see it. 
I mean, if the person's into that, I'm sure. The person's upstairs would ask him. <laughs> is, I like I like to be on my. St- I like this. So I would like for people to come on my stomach. I like to see it. To see it. Because my skin is so dark and it's like a really <laughs> big contrast. I love. I'm like, oh, that looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that perspective before. It looks really cool, <laughs> and it feels nice. I think it feels nice. I've ever seen those points where those people like they get a bunch of people or some person to like collect a lot of cum in a cup and then they drink it later. I've never seen one. You've never seen someone like get like a bunch of cum in like in like a shot glass and then like. No, I have not seen that. Oh, I have seen that. Well, you're. T- I think because you, you typed it in. No, it's it's been like it's like what you see in like a thumbnail. Of, you know, your like suggestions are based on something you t- you typed in something that led you there. Maybe it's like like a, a a group party or orgy or something. Or you that... maybe you typed in cum or facial or 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 maybe you typed in guy drinks a cup of cum. <laughs> I said, no, I've never searched that. But if you ended up if if that was suggested, there's a reason why they're suggesting <laughs> it to you. How often <laughs> do you get suggested just suggested a uh, straight porn? Not very often. Because because the algorithm knows you don't want to see that. Your algorithm the algorithm is smart, Mona. They know what you want to see. I did, and you, did you click it? I did not. You didn't click it. How'd you end up watching it? It was a suggestion and you watched, but you didn't click it. No, it was one of those that was playing in like the side. Like you you put your mouse over it. So it's a Let me see your browser history. <laughs> Run me that browser history. You watch there's nothing wrong with watching that. I know that I know there's not. I say I did not watch it. You didn't it. say you saw it in a thumbnail. You said you watched it. You said I've seen one of those. Because I've seen it in the thumbnail, one that play when you, your mouse goes over the video. Something's fishy here. <laughs> Something well, I can't believe you said that word. Victoria's going to we cannot. Yeah, I did not say it in that context. <laughs> Also, Victoria Scone, I'm not watching Canada versus the World, mm-hmm. but like the looks she's posting. Oh, yeah, they're great. She posted a picture on Twitter the crazy. other day. Crazy. Her and Silky are turning some in. You talking about her look that's just for the sapphics? Yes. I said, bitch. I said, yo, I, she looks so hot. I was like, I know it's just for the sapphics, but I did. I did. I thought, oh, wrong person. I was like, that is a hot picture. You know, it looks great. So we'll post it here, but it's just... Can we post it here? We're gonna get no, we can't post that. No, yeah, the, can't post there's, there's a whole titty out. Yes. Oh, my God. That is... What? She no, she, the look she's turning on this show, that fucking Fabio shit was crazy. Uh, Victor Scone or Victor or something. And that, and, that, and that fucking one-legged pant thing she did? I don't think I saw it's right, that. It's like right above. Did I? It's crazy. Did you oh, see- that was this was cool. I, I didn't I, I did see it briefly. Or the sleeve thing. Bitch, did you see what uh Black, black Pepper? Pepper? All right, bitch, the meat, the dick, black pepper is packing in them blue bread fucking panties. She don't want your king goes, but she printing in them. Oh my god, that is wild. Black pepper looks hot. Black pepper, you're trying to get some American citizenship. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Black I'm just saying, hot. That's fucking hot, dude. Cause you know, I mean, this is so. This is this is who I be going for. This is who I be going. This mm-hmm. is that's hot. Honestly, good for you. Work. What did you say? I said, wait, wait a, a damn, damn second. <laughs> yeah, that pepper looks hot. Spit a word. Like, wait, you trying to? If you need to put stay in America, <laughs> I, I reach out to Alex. Update my lock screen. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> 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 I really, I really think of myself. You, you do. I have to say, no one laughs more at Bob's jokes than Bob. Oh, let me try now. If you make yourself laugh, you are and you are going to be be entertained for the rest of I'm your life. What's the thing? When people like, I like when a comedian laughs laughs at their own joke. I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not offended by that. Some people do not like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know. One of my friends famously said their dad hated Joan Rivers just because she laughed at her own jokes. And I was like, so. One of your friends? Can you say who the friend is? I, I genuinely can't remember who it was. Oh, okay. It was just someone who was like, my dad hated Joan Rivers. And I was like, why? And he was like, because she laughed she at her own jokes. jokes. I don't know that she particularly laughed at her own jokes that I'm, often I'm, either. I'm trying to think of Joan Rivers. I mean, I didn't watch all of her stuff, but I did watch Joan Rivers, and I can't think of her laughing. I mean, she would laugh sometimes. Like Anthony Jeselnik doesn't even crack a smile. Who's Jeselnik? And, and Anthony, Anthony Jeselnik. Jeselnik is that like blonde that uh, guy who do who does one. He does like strictly one liners, and he also tries to. He's kind of an edge lord. And he tries to see how offensive his jokes can be. So he tells like really offensive jokes, and some of them they aren't all offensive. 
But um. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't allow. He he doesn't. Like, he, he's 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 dead. It's like, a, it's like a character. It's like a yeah. character at this point. Yeah, he's stone faced. Whereas Chris Rock, I've seen I've heard Chris Rock laugh at his own jokes, which I love. I heard, does one just like laugh at his own jokes? Yeah, she does. I mean, John Rivers be like, "Oh, I mean, you, are you serious? Come yeah. on, uh, Melissa." Did you see Wendy? Wendy Williams is on the is on the mend. Is she? Yes, yeah, she did. Um, the um, she did a a big it's a radio station. I think it's a, not WBLS. Well, I mean, one of these big radio stations. They did their big uh meeting thing they do or festival. Sorry, and she spoke and she sounded great. And she's definitely come out with a podcast. How do you feel about people who are like she deserves it? I, I think people are, I think that is the dumbest and stupidest take. I, I hate that. It pisses me off. People are like, that's what she get for talking about other people. I'm like, bitch, you talk about people all the time. So you, in, in, in you're your talking about Wendy right now. You know what I mean? So like, how, what do you mean that she should, that she deserves to suffer because she would just put her, she had a TV show putting out her opinions. Everyone talks about people. I think people were saying that her opinions were hurting people. I, but I don't agree with, I do not agree with that take, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I think it's silly and I, and I, I do not, dis- I, I disagree with it though. Vehemently, um, my mom was saying something recently about something I had hanging around the house. You know, at Zach's place, mm-hmm. Zach has a bunch of dicks everywhere, Does like he? dick art, dick cups, dick coasters. <laughs> and um, and she was Jacob and my mom were talking, and she was, "What was it, Jacob?" She was like, "Well, the thing, you, you, he, well, so he just loves it, so he he has them hanging everywhere. Ducks. Okay, I mean, we have we have a lot of ducks in our kitchen." And Jacob's like, "Well, we love ducks. We have ducks." And so she said, "Well, I see Monet house. Monet and I must love herself." There's one picture of me. She said, my name was Love. Or <laughs> There's one picture of me. That's not me. That's not me. None of these that are could me. that. That's I, literally you. I don't know if that's not you. I don't know. <laughs> I have this big picture of Bob right here in my living room on the floor. Because I haven't hung it up. There's no place to hang it up. When I move into a new place, I'm gonna hang it I up. I just saw you throw the picture away. Uh, I think a space just opened up. Oh, how did you see? Oh, I have it by the garbage. Uh, I think a space just opened up. That was above my bed. I imagine Andy and I put your picture above my bed. I can't imagine. <laughs> no. I can, and I expect to see it. That's not happening. It's a quote, Monique. I would love to see it. <laughs> I would love to see it. Oh, uh, how do you feel about Wendy? He was saying that she deserves it. That's I, good I, for her. I, 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 I don't. I don't agree. I think that um, you know, I don't think that I don't believe in karma. I think that I don't think that good things happen to good people, and I don't think bad things happen to. I think things happen to people, and we assign good and bad to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't think it is some retribution or it is some comeuppance of any sort. I think that she's just ended up getting sick. I know, but that video of her putting her foot up on TMZ and it's just like it looks like a limp, like her foot is like gray. It looks. It was a little read her. It was tough to watch. Read I her bad for me. I'm not gonna, I, I love one. Drag her. When, and I was watching some of her old clips. I agree. We all agree. With Wendy Williams be out of pocket sometimes, but that shit. Which one? <laughs> no, I don't want to say this one. This one is really offensive. I'm going to get in trouble. What is it? You, she said it, not you. It was, but I laughed at it. L- laughter is an involuntary response. The first time. <laughs> this, is, this is like the 10th time. <laughs> Which one was it? It's when, it's when, it's, it's when um, Caitlyn Jenner had just come out. You're right, <laughs> Belinda. No, yeah, Belinda. And she was like, um, she's like, you know, Caitlin of uh, of uh, uh, Caitlin. No, Bruce. So, uh, I gotta play it. No, I, no, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. We're not. We're not going down this road. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I'm thinking about um us going to Aspen again. <laughs> Don't tickle me, bitch. You're a mess. <laughs> you are a mess. Oh my mess. So back to prisons. <laughs> Do you think you can survive prison? Absolutely not. Now I know bottoms like run prisons, but I'm just not cut for it. Just the the cleanliness, bitch. I, so Duan is addicted to Sixty Days, and he was here for with Arcia for a week, and he sat on his couch just watching episodes of Sixty Days in. And like people like shit in the showers and people do like prison just not I'm not cut for it. I'm not cut for it. I'm I would not be- shit in your shower. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video of shit in your shower, bitch. You live in a prison. <laughs> I don't think I would be I'll be I would I would I would be very long. That was good. Go it, that was good. <laughs> but prison would not work for me. How about you? Do you think you could do it? You know, um going to prison is a fear of mine. 
I don't know why. I'm not like out here in these streets committing any felonies, but going to prison is just a fear of mine. And I don't know how I would fare in prison. I I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't try to align myself with any gangs. I would try to be like one of those people who just like mind their business. And I'd be like, send me to the gay part. But it's survival. You have I'd be like, to send me to the gay part. The gays have gangs too, Bob. I know, but but also like I feel like the gays are just not gonna be as wild as like the straight part. Are you okay? Well, now what? Okay, here's the thing: you, you go to prison and you have to be someone. Like someone is like, if if you want to survive here, you have to be my bottom. Like you have to do that. And they don't I have, have loot. They don't, but but they don't have loot. They don't have douche. They it would. Have you seen those TikToks? The, those dudes like recounting their experiences. They don't have lube. They don't have douche. The dude is like, I want to have sex, and you have to. And but again, bottoms are in control, so you can say yes or no because you have the power. But you don't have any of those things. You got to take the dick, dirty, r- dirty booty hole with no lube. Yeah, one I I can bottom. You've done it like twice. That's not true. Anyway, um, and I I'd probably be like not interested in bottoming for you. If I didn't want to, and then and then then they fight you. Then what? I can fight. I just, I just I get fight, get fucked up in prison, bitch. You just have no. I don't reason. like to fight. I can't. Sometimes I can't. I have a hard time envisioning myself fighting, but I but I can fight though. But I've, I but you've never been in a fight before. So how that's, you, that's not true. Wait, when did you fight? I've been in fights before. Have you? Yes. I you didn't know this about you. Yeah, I've been in fights. Not in my adulthood. I don't fight people as an adult. I use my words. You know what I mean? You fight. You fight with your words. Oh yeah, fight. I defend myself. I stand up for others. Oh, we fight with words. You and I. You're the fighter. So my personal experience is that you do fight with words. You're the one fighting. <laughs> you fight with yourself. Any beef got any bitch got beef with me is beefing with herself. You heard that? You know who is that? Um, is that Megan? I love Megan Pete. She's fierce. Megan Pete. When they're calling out, calling out the names and the other uh, thing. Um, what do you think about um? Like, would you ever be able to work as a prison guard? No, I'm not good for that either. Because also, in 60 Days In, you see a lot of these prison guards can be, like, very, very manipulative and very shady, like... Oh, you'd be perfect. This is, bitch, this is the job for you. When the inmates need things, because they give them things like toilet paper and stuff like that, they, like, hold it out, just, like, fuck with them, and just, they, they, they don't treat a lot of these, to your point earlier, like human beings. They kind of, like, take the humanity away from them. I'm like, no, nah, y- y'all not getting no toilet paper today, bitch. I have to shit. Like, what am I supposed to use? My hand? So I would hate to be on that side of things. Also. You don't have to treat them like that. I don't know. Not treat them like that, but just part of that system, like that, that culture. You know what I mean? Because then I'm sure other guys get mad at you because I'm sure they have their system of stuff and they're like, they're all in on it. And when you break from that because you can get them in trouble with the warden, I'm sure there are politics in that that I just don't want to be a part of. That makes sense. Could you be a prison guard? Mm-hmm. It was my Alexa. Um... I don't think I want to have anything. My mommy's working in prison. Right, she did. She's yeah. teaching uh, technology. Yeah, computers. In the, in the early 2000s, when there were people who went to prison before desktop computers. There were people who went to prison who had never used a desktop computer in their lives. And they were like, wild. How, what, what email? Wild. What is it? What the, I, I don't even know what is an email. <laughs> who am I person name? Oh, Eureka. That was her. That was who? Now you say you. Now you, say, now you say Eureka's a, a hillbilly ignorant <laughs> bitch. Well, she's a hillbilly. I don't know about ignorant bitch. It was Herschel Walker. Oh. I don't even know what is a pronoun. That's a direct quote. Literally his name. Her. Herschel Walker oh. is I'm so glad that he's like I am he's not, too. He's not, but he's like not. And just the way that they touted this man and they, uh, the only the, 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 the Republicans only touted him obviously because Warnock was black, and they thought, "Oh, we can get a black person to kind of to to get the black vote." And they and obviously this man had no skills, no qualifications, not very. I mean, to someone, he's intelligent. To my purview, experiencing him, what he talked about, he talked. He is not an, an intelligent person. And the fact Are that, you that to, um, pretty much, I will let Herschel Walker know that he is a, a dumb a, cunt. cunt. He Correct. does not have the vernacular that he thinks he possesses. Somebody, Somebody lied, lied to him several, several times, told him that he, he was could be smart, a werewolf, a vampire, <laughs> or which uh, he was nothing. Of he's the no, he's nothing of the sort. So and the y'all fact, know uh, vampires can kill a werewolf. It's so sad to watch. I said I want to be a vampire. It's so disgusting to watch. Now they try to bring pronouns into our our, our, our military. The United States is the whole is the best uh, nation in the country in the whole world. It's so disgusting to watch. There's a video where someone said Herschel Walker played football when the when the helmets were soft. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make that up. 
What's up? What's up? Well, that? the gag was your 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 friend, not your friend, but you did the videos. Y'all, you, you and him were going back and forth. Christian Walker, his son, like completely distanced himself from him. He was going in on his dad, which I was so shocked to see because Christian Walker is a very proud, right, super conservative Republican. So it was very interesting to see. Have you seen how many people are like turning on Trump now? Oh yeah, bitch. Do you see what the New York Post put out about him? What? So you know, obviously during Trump's reign, the New York Post they were up his ass. They were they were that was their guy. Trump could do nothing wrong. They loved Trump. Bitch, when Trump announced that he was going, that he was running for, um, he was running for president again, they said, so um, I, I had to read the article to you. They said, delete it, flop. Bob, they dragged him. They said, hey, flop. I was like, not Candace, the Candace Owens has come out against Donald Trump. Did she really? Yeah. Like she, was, she was like, I was very disappointed in his behavior and all that stuff. And she was saying that he's like, he's, he got ego. And a lot of folks are coming out against Trump being like, girl, she's not that girl. She's I, not that girl anymore. I mean, he's done. He's done. I mean, again, I, I, here's the thing. I don't want to say he, I don't want to say he's done because we saw what happened last time. We thought that there's no way Trump is gonna but, 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 and bitch look what the fuck happened. I do want to say I think that we really need to, and I know this sounds like a like a goof now. We need to take keep a close eye on Kanye West, uh huh. Because I'm starting to see people agree with him in the comment mm-hmm. section of some of these things, and Kanye West is scary right now. The amount of the amount of like you know with the whole um, Kyrie and the amount of like. TikToks I stumbled upon and people like justifying because the thing about Kiri, what's the name? The, 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 the basketball player who's, who, who did that. Oh, who did that? It's the thing? I don't know. The thing about him is not just that. People are not realizing he had a whole history of other things. So it's just that thing. Yes, that's bad, but that compact and all the other things. He was, he's like a support of Jerry Jones, not Jerry Jones, um, the guy who said that um, Sandy Hook was a lie and, and now they're soon to Alex cancel. Jones. Alex Jones. He was like support. Like, he, well, Kanye went on Alex Jones. Kanye, West, yeah, he went in there, and even Alex Jones was like, "Well, Kanye West was, was straight up like, I like Hitler, which is crazy." I'm trying to find, the... but he also he said something that like, really drove me. He's like, "I love everyone. Do you love everyone?" Who said that? Donald Trump? No, Kanye West. Like, do you love everyone? I, people say that time. I love everyone. You hear people say that? No, you never heard anyone say that? Oh, yeah, I have, I have, I have heard that. Do you, yes, I don't believe, I don't believe those people. But also, like, I don't love everyone. I don't even love everyone in my family. This, this, this is what the New York Post said about Trump <laughs> announcing his thing. With just 720 days to go before the next election, a Florida retiree made the surprise announcement that he was running for president. Avid golfer Donald J. Trump kicked things off at Mar-a-Lago, his resort and classified documents library. Trump, famous for gold-plated lobbies and for firing people on reality television, will be 78 in 2024. His cholesterol levels are unknown, but his favorite food is a charred steak with ketchup. And then the final thing, this the final line of the story goes: Trump also served as the forty fifth president. Dragged him, girl. Let's get this roaster cooking. <laughs> <laughs> let's get this. Ro- that picture of the Pope is like, why does the Pope look like he's slaying the comedy challenge? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> put that in there. We're this episode. We're gonna have all the things in there. We're gonna have the we have the the video of of your dog, and also send Jacob the video of you and uh, Potato listening to SZA. Okay, let me do all that. Before we leave, we're going to do all that today. We have a Patreon exclusive. So listen, we have a little Patreon exclusive that we're going to be doing. I don't know what it is. Guess, Guess that, that white, white woman. woman. Oh, I, I announced to the party last night that I have a hard time differentiating famous white women. And Sandra Bullock and Jennifer, Jennifer uh, someone. Anyway, we'll... we'll, we'll. Just Sandra Bullock and Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts, which is... But great. I said at a party full of famous white women that I have a hard time differentiating them. I know it was it, it was a little awkward. Bob, you, Jacob, was, Jacob was there for J- uh, wait. Jacob was there for the awkwardness. Jacob was there for all my. I was like, I kind of have a hard time different. Oh no, he was. I, I didn't know if he meant he was there for it physically or he was there for it. That's what I. I he was understand. there when he saw it. <laughs> there when it happened. All right. Anyway, we're gonna name that white woman over on Patreon. Bye, everyone. Name that white woman on Patreon. <laughs>